Good afternoon, everybody. It is Steve with Real Progressives, March 31st, 2018. Today, I'm watching the reboot, for God knows what reason, of Roseanne. Roseanne is trying to break out every trick in the book to kind of, you know, loop back in all those family dynamics and, and all the current event kind of dynamics that we've grown used to with the old Roseanne show. And, you know, they come back in and obviously Roseanne is a Trump supporter in, in the show. And you've got her sister who was, I, I think she actually voted for Jill Stein is the way they put it down there. But they're battling. They're talking about each other. They're trying to find this good way of bridging the gap. They're finding this way of trying to communicate with each other uh, to, you know, rectify this one-year chasm that they've had. Because obviously they fought since the election. And, you know, one thing leads to another. Roseanne tries to talk about, well, Donald Trump talked about jobs. That's why she, you know, addressed that. And then her sister said, well, you know, I guess I have to understand a little bit about where you're coming from. And then Roseanne says, yeah, and when you thought everybody should have health care for all, you know, I guess I thought it was kind of cute that you wanted health care for all, but I realized that you basically failed the maths. You didn't understand how to do some basic math. And I thought to myself, this is how they create this narrative way outside the election season way outside anything else. They immediately craft regular people. Regular people have no political aspiration whatsoever. Regular people have no interest in understanding anything beyond watching their sitcom on the television. And there they are telling you in the sitcom point blank that we can't afford health care for all. And these little subtle digs are what gets in our brains. They're the things that cause us to be freaking completely useless to doing anything substantive. And if you think I'm joking, start taking note. Keep a pad of paper and a pencil around sometime. Watch the shows you regularly watch and start listening for the subtle overtones that tell you that somehow or another, America, the richest nation in the world, the nation that never has to worry about where its bombs are coming from, that same America that can do just about anything the neoliberals want, that same America... That same America suddenly cannot afford health care for regular people. Neoliberalism is in every one of your sitcoms, every one of your shows, every one of your interactions with people, every novel you read, you name it. It's all interwoven in there, and it's all creating a thing for you to keep in your brain that the country cannot afford to do nice things. I'm telling you, break out your pad of paper and write down every time and you will start to see what I'm saying. You will start to see what I'm saying. It dumbs you down. It makes you want less. It makes you dream less. It makes you believe less. And then when you see them acting like they're the sane ones in the room with their pussy hats on and stuff, all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's who I'm rooting for now. But it's a false dichotomy. It's a false choice. It's not either or. The fact is, is that we've been telling you all along that we can afford these things. But there you are with, I I think they broke some crazy record number viewers for when they came back to the, uh, came back to the air after all these years of Roseanne being shelved. Now they're back and suddenly with it like that, millions and millions and millions of viewers And millions and millions and millions of viewers are sitting there hearing that the nation can't afford it. There's no super PAC paying for that. There is no donations paying for that. There is no Citizens United paying for that. There is no nothing. This is straight from your network television, the things that you love to watch, that you say, can't we just have a good time and it not be political? Can't we just sit back and chill and relax and have a cold beer and watch a funny show? You can, but guess what? It's littered, littered with droppings of neoliberalism that keep you stuck. You think it helps? It does not help. I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives.
Have a great day, everyone.